Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday, the 27th of December. Um, another cold morning here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, yesterday, I went for a, um, you know, my daily run during my lunch break and two miles. It was, it was nice because uh, the, I ran on the snow and ice. Uh, and it kind of plays with your footing a little bit. You kind of have to watch where you step and um, kind of watch when um, you're kind of, you're going downhill or uphill or when there's a sort of a slant in the road uh, or in the path. But other than that, though, it, it is it is very, it's much easier on the knees and the joints and everything like that. So <clears throat> it actually was uh, it was a quite an enjoyable run, I have to say. So um, maybe I'll be able to <clears throat> get another one in today, but I don't think that the uh, snow stuck around overnight uh, or at least through the day. Um, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I do have um, my daughter's trampoline to build probably when I get home today or probably tomorrow. And then uh, coming up on this weekend, we finally made, it's weird, my uh, girl and I have been together for almost, you know, going on four years. And um, we've never done like a New Year's celebration together. It's been, you know, it's been like gatherings with friends and things like that, but it's never been you know, like a date, you know, and like going out and having a nice dinner and celebrating, bringing in the new year together on a date. And so this year, um, I made some reservations at this really nice wine Italian bar and, uh, out there in, I forget, it's called the purple, purple something. And it's out in, uh, uh, what's that place called? Woodenville, uh, where all the wineries are. And so, yeah, looking forward to that. It's going to be, it's a late reservation, but, uh, it actually kind of, times in perfectly with uh bringing in the new year so we have reservations at 9 30 you know two two hour dinner have a few drinks and then you know it's midnight and then we'll you know make sure that we're okay to drive and uh, we'll drive back home to uh um out to stay with her parents uh who will be watching uh, our daughter for that night so it's nice to get a nice date in you know it's uh, we haven't had one in a while you know it's just one of those new parent type things, it's just, uh, it's, uh, you know, having a kid kind of throws things, throws a little wrench into the gears, but, you know, you kind of, ha you have to make an effort to, to date and to continue dating and to get out there and enjoy yourselves and not let it be business every single day. You have to have fun once in a while. So, um, you know, we had fun, uh, setting everything up for Christmas, uh, you know, the night, you know, on Christmas Eve and then, you know, we like, you know, we, we have to do this more often. And so we ended up, um, you know, having a, a nice New Year celebration coming up here. So looking forward to that this weekend. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, and I also have to say that I also have, um, I had, it's, it's kind of weird that um, I have two of my friends have wives that are not born in America. And that really doesn't play a big as a as big of a role as you would think but it's sort of a language barrier between the two wives and so they had sort of a you know um sort of a, I guess sort of a, a disagreement or uh, an exchange of words and things got taken out of context and and then what happened is uh we have this close group of friends uh five guys and um you know two of them ended up not talking because, you know, their wives were fighting. And so they took their side of the wives. And, um, so we haven't been able to hang out with, you know, one or the other, uh, together in, I think it's been about a year. And so they started talking again, um, hatchets buried, um, everything's in the clear wives are talking again. So that's great. You know, it's just, it comes to, you can't be stubborn and, you have to kind of be open to say, wait, what did I do? What did I say? Did I say the wrong thing? How did that get taken? Did it get taken out of context? What exactly happened? How did they receive the message? And so um, just thinking about that, um, you know, they could see that, um, you know, that somebody um, kind of misconstrued the message. And so, and now it's, you know, everyone's on the same page. Everything's good to go. Uh, everyone's happy, so that's that's definitely good. So now we have the group back together, uh, no complaints, nobody speaking ill of other people, and you know, so that's 
Hatchet is buried, moving forward. So that's great. That's good news. Looking forward to the next time we actually all hang out together because that, you know, like I said, it's been going on almost, uh, going on almost two years. So anyway, hope you guys have a great Wednesday. And remember, you know, coming up to this new year, you got to think about, you know, you can't, you can buy a new car, you can buy a new house, you can buy new clothes, you can get new hairstyle, get new shoes. But unless you change who you are internally, the person who you are externally will, will be no different. So you have to think about what you want to change on the inside for the next year. So you have to think about what you want to do, um, what you want to achieve, what you want to shoot for, and who do you ultimately want to be next year? Or even start now, you know, why, why wait till January 1st? Just, you know, do it now. And then kind of say you got a head start on everyone else. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And next year is going to be, trust me, there's going to be some big things coming, um, really good things coming. Stay tuned. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning.